Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. So I've had this idea for a while, and um, I've seen it done on a few other episode, or a few other uh, YouTubers, and I always hate not mentioning who it is because I always want to give them credit for what they've done, so you know other people will see it and stuff like that. But I've always been interested in the idea of like simulating gravity in a sense. And, uh, this isn't, like, my best interpretation of how it could be done, but I thought it would be kind of, like, a cool little footnote to put on, you know, for you guys to see. Um, I, I don't know, it, it just seems like it was, it was, like, a good idea at the time. I, I haven't even tested it, and this is my new rocket, by the way. Um, the one that I built during my, uh, rocket building tutorial, if you want to call it that. Um... I don't want to do too many of those like rocket building type tutorials, but I mean if you guys need help with certain things, I don't mind helping you. It's just uh, I find rocket building and stuff like that kind of boring, um, kind of stuff that I don't really want to put on my channel. Um, you know, because I always see rocket building done, and it's not like a huge... Thing. I don't know what just happened. Something just exploded. Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that is. I wish I had like a good explanation on that. Um, it's kind of scary. So uh, yeah, if this thing would stop spinning, that'd be nice too. But uh, yeah, this is an untested rocket, so it might explode. Might whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Um, whatever. So. I hope you guys are enjoying game day. I, I I'm going to be watching it later myself. I I'm not too big on football, but um, you know I I do enjoy the ads, and I do enjoy uh, you know watching a little bit of it here and there. It's not my old time favorite sport. I'm not a very sports oriented kind of person. If you want to call it that. <laughs> I, I just, I've never been big on sports. It's just not my thing. So, I think I put some RCS on this thing, but I'm not sure. Yeah, there's no RCS. As you can see, it's very untested. So, I'm trying to stop this spinning. And it's not working. So, um, yeah, as you can see, we are not doing a normal orbit by any means uh, and there's a reason for that so I will explain that once we get into orbit and god this is like weird too because I'm not even I'm so not even used to this so you guys can give me a break if it kinda doesn't really look like I'm n making a nice orbit so oh what else so yeah, I'm thinking about launching some probes to uh, distant planets. I, you know, you, I, I gotta launch some science packages to see what these other planets are all about, you know. And that's kind of one of the things I have been interested in lately. Nothing too uh, spectacular for the most part. You know, it's just been kind of... Uh, same old, same old with this game. I, uh, I've been really happy about the way the, uh, space station is coming around, coming along around Minmus, and there'll be more of that soon. Um, I have some ideas and certain things. I do want to put a bunch of fuel in orbit. That is one of the things I really want, but, um, you know, it requires some testing and, you know, I have to build uh, some better mechanisms to uh, store said fuel and, you know, all that good stuff. And I really need to get rid of this big stage so I can flip this thing around. At least try to. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is going to be so painful for you guys to watch. So, yeah. It, it, I hope you guys are having a good... Uh, you know, Super Bowl, oh, I can't say that word, 
uh, game day. I hope you guys are having a really good game day. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to, if you guys want to know the reason why I can't say that word, um, just look it up. It, it, it's amazing. So, uh, yeah, enjoy your game day, as I might, as it might be said. Um, what, what's going on here? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got rid. Of, I I could have used that stage. There's so much fuel left in it, but uh, yeah, I I would much rather prefer to you know actually move my craft around and stuff, you know. So this isn't gonna be a great orbit, and I don't even think I'm gonna leave it in orbit. I I'm probably just gonna knock it out of orbit once I'm done. So, but. I will show you guys the main reason why I have you all here today. So let's spin this thing around facing the sun. And we are in a polar orbit now. That's what this is called, is a polar orbit. You, we are not orbiting in a normal sense. We always will have the sun facing, you know, it will always be over the horizon like this. So these orbits are really good for, like, I, I honestly think... And you guys, I mean, for me, like, I like launching satellites in orbit, in polar orbits, and putting them in polar orbits, mostly because there's no dead time on your, uh, your craft. Like, there's no time where it might run out of battery, and you're just stuck there. So, my main reason for launching this is, is and I didn't even go as far as setting up any, uh, quick keys or quick commands or whatever for it the uh I just wanted to test this idea out and I didn't want to you know destroy anything or whatever you know just do something really crazy and I thought this would be kind of a fun idea to test out so let's get this thing come on come on I should have set those up woulda coulda shoulda so, I'm going to detach this other stage, and I am going to turn on all these little ion drives. Oh, God. Well, I was going to turn them on. Why aren't they working? There we go. Now this right here is something I've had in mind for a long time. Wow, it is spinning really fast. I'm going to turn that off for a second, actually, so I can realign myself and turn on the SAS. Which I should have done that a while ago. But who needs forethought, you know? That's just a crazy idea. Okay, so I guess it will be facing this way. <laughs> now the idea in this, and I, I don't even think this will be affecting my orbit in any kind of way, because it's moving so fast um, and spinning, is if you look at this now, if there was somebody inside there, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, they would be experiencing some form of gravity on them, and they would actually be um, you know, attached to the spacecraft, in a sense. Like, not not like a centrifuge, where they'd be, like, stuck to the outside, but everything inside would be experiencing some form of gravity because of the fact that this thing is spinning. And I don't know, I'm not like a engineer or anything like that, um, I don't know much about, I don't, you know, like, I don't claim to know anything about, you know, space travel or, you know, anything like that, but it's, to me, this just seems like it would work, in a sense, as far as if you were trying to simulate some kind of gravity, I don't know, um how well this would work in a sense, but 
when you when you look at it like i you know i just always thought this would be kind of a fun thing to mess around with now i kind of planned on it facing towards the sun but i did not put rcs on so that was kind of my fault and it's probably just gonna it, it seems like it's probably just gonna face the uh curbin so i'm gonna keep turning this up until my battery can still stay stable so and this thing will just keep spinning pretty much until the um it runs out of xenon gas so i mean this would be like long-term simulated gravity in a sense like where you have you know it, this would only last for a few hours in real life but you know with this game it it's not like this would last forever or something. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going to sit here for like two hours and watch this thing spin. Give me a break. So, if you were to simulate gravity in a sense, this would be one way that it would be possible. I, I, at least I think so. I'm not 100%. You guys can leave comments if you want or whatever and let me know. But, anyways, guys, I thought this would be kind of cool to show you. So, I'll see you next time.